Hello everyone, Noelle here, and I'm back with another product review, this time of the Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. I bought the set of 120 way back in 2016 on Amazon because I'd been watching and waiting and deciding and then finally I bit the bullet and decided, you know, what the heck, why not buy it? Now I purchased this on Amazon for $160, which is about what you would see this go for on discount art supply sites. I remember feeling like a kid on Christmas when I opened this tin as this was the first time I'd spent major dime on one single art supply set. However, as someone who loves watercolor pencils, I knew this was a worthwhile investment. So let's dive in and take a look at what makes these watercolor pencils so special. First off, you cannot deny how nice this packaging is. The pencils come in this sturdy tin and inside you'll find three plastic trays with elastic loops on the sides. These allow you to very carefully pull the trays out to reach the other pencils stashed below. The first tray contains yellows, reds, and purples. The second, blues, and greens, leading into the last tray that holds your skin tones and other natural and neutral colors. If I'm being truthful, I'm not wild about the color selection here. For example, some colors look way too similar and that makes the set look a little redundant. So much so, I find myself supplementing this set with other watercolor sets that I own. A color, for whatever reason, I always find myself searching for when I look into this set is a soft pastel lavender color, one that's a little bit more blue-toned than red-toned, and this set just doesn't have one. While this packaging is super nice, it's also a bit cumbersome, and also the lid doesn't latch, so it's not very good for traveling in my opinion, which is why I like to put my watercolor pencils into a little case like this. It has some straps and things. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in getting it. It is a little bit on the more expensive side, but it is a super nice case and I really highly recommend it. It's really awesome. Lastly, I want to note that this set came with a little teeny tiny booklet, a little brochure that listed the watercolor pencils and also other art supplies that Faber-Castell makes. And it also did a, a little bit of a history lesson on the Faber-Castell brand but I threw it out. If you're feeling extra, you can shell out even more money for a fancy wooden case. Because wood. Still doesn't look portable, but it does really look nice. I guess I would like one myself if I had the money. The next two topics go hand in hand, that being the quality of the pencil in its entirety. If you've watched my how to make watercolors from watercolor pencils, you know that not all watercolor pencils are created equal. Leads, whether water soluble or not, range in quality depending on a number of factors like fillers and pigments, which is something we're not going to get into in this video. After using these for almost three years now, I feel pretty confident in saying that these are lovely to work with. But I'll confess there are a few pencils in here that do have that scratchy quality to them, those being the metallic watercolor pencils that are in this set. And if I'm being honest as well, they're not really that intensely pigmented, even when wet which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> However, the rest do glide down very smoothly on paper with a very intense and vibrant color payoff and wonderful blendability. I also want to comment on the quality of the wood as these are by far the smoothest and nicest pencils that I've ever had the pleasure of sharpening. I know that's a really weird thing to comment about, but they are so nice. The barrels are, and I quote from the Dick Blick website, housed in premium California cedar wood with bonding to strengthen the lead and help prevent breakage. And while we're commenting on the barrel, let's take a closer look at it. The barrel is hexagonal, which I always prefer because I like the feel of it in my hand over round or triangular pencils. Plus the shape helps eliminate the pencil from rolling off your workspace. The color of the barrel is also just about the same color of the lead, which is nice too if you're making quick color choices on the fly, though I always refer to my swatches just in case. But let's move on down to the label here. Barbara Costell is a German-based company, hence why you see the name of the color in German, as well as English. And right next to that we have a numerical code, which I learned recently, is so that you're able to order these pencils individually. Go figure. Right next to those are these asterisks, which dictate the light fastness of the watercolor pencil, which I'll talk about more in depth in a second. On the other side, I'm going to do a bit of cheating here, because as I was researching the best way to go about writing the script for this review, I came across the Art Gear Guide's review on these pencils, and this is what they had to say about this bit right here. 
And I'm almost quoting this word for word, by the way. This bit here is the location of the Faber-Castell's headquarters, which is in Germany. Next is what looks like the tip of a paintbrush, which Art Gear Guide claims specifies that the pencil is water soluble. And next we have the brand name, Albrecht Dürer, followed by what I have also learned from Art Gear Guide, that these jousting horses are actually the Faber-Castell logo. I'm going to link Art Gear Guide's info in my description since their guide was really informative and I definitely have used a lot of their content for this review. They also have a channel here on YouTube, so be sure to look them up as well. Now, we're not going to go too deep into light fastness on this video, but Faber-Castell has a rating system of light fastness starting from one star to three stars. One star being the least light fast and three stars being the most light fast. In very basic terms, light fastness refers to the fade resistance of a pigment or dye when exposed to light. Long story short, the watercolor pencils in the set that have higher stars will hold their pigment longer than a watercolor pencil that has less stars. And again, quoting Art Gear Guide's review on these pencils, a whopping 64 of the 120 in the set are three stars, 48 are two, and eight are one stars. And what sweetens the deal even more is that Faber-Castell did stamp all of the watercolor pencils with the light fastness rating on their pencils, making it really easy for artists who sell their original work to plan their artwork around the most light fast colors. I bet you didn't think we'd get to this part, did you? The first thing I always do when I get new art supplies is put that it is in the swatch binder. binder. That's right. You veterans of my channel know how much I love my swatch binder. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Noelle. I call myself an artist. I like to make swatch pages for all my art supplies to give myself a really quick and easy reference for colors when I make art. And if you're interested to see why and how I made this binder, I will link a thing up here. Is this the right side? I'll never know. I will link um, a card up here and I'll also put a link in the description below. Let's dive in, shall we? For the most part, these pencils are the same color dry as they are wet, with a few exceptions, most notably when we venture into the browns. The paper also plays a part in the perception of the dry side, but wetting the pencil brings out all those hidden colors we don't quite see. Since this change is somewhat drastic, I always refer to my swatch book so I can make wise color choices for my art. If you want to see these babies in action, I will link a couple of videos of me using them. I think mostly my Pokemon speed paints and maybe a couple more recent ones. I know a Valentine's Day one, I use mostly these and that turned out really nicely and I think it's holding up really well. Well, anyway, guys, that wraps it up for this review. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more art related content, I would totally appreciate if you would subscribe and remember to draw what you love and love what you draw. However, as someone who loves watercolor pencils, I knew they was, these, these were going to, I knew this was a worthwhile invest in, in the, oh my God, why? That listed not, oh my God, my hair. Leads, whether water soluble or not. <laughs> Leads, whether water soluble or, why again? Light fastness refers to, <laughs> I love these pencils. They are so pretty. Oh my goodness.